has a big ass mouth in a way. The story names, characters and incidents portrayed are fictitious. No identification with actual persons living or deceased, places and I okay. そこ花子。私は見ている。学園に紛れ。Oh, she's already dead. I didn't get that part. My bad. また、もしの宣告が学園に届く。死を告げる死人の影。それは学園をさらなる不安に覆っていた。そうして夏も過ぎ去った頃、ある男が学園へとやってきた。果たして死人とは怪異なのか。それともあ、oh, there's no voice anymore. Are you sure I can use my control? I can just chew if I can use my control. No? Okay. Student to the left. Which one? This left, this left, this left, this left. There is four students. There is four left. There is six. If you... Okay. It's all female. <laughs> hey, tell me the rest of the story. Yep. We got cut off in the middle, remember? I've been thinking about it during class ever since. The story? You mean... About the departed thing? Yeah, that one. Oh, what the hell? Is it really here at school? Obviously, duh. The departed turns itself into a human to kill us. Damn, does that mean we're like, in danger? You know Takai to be? They're supposed to be missing. But everyone's been saying they got killed by the departed. Just like the notice on the bulletin board said. Wait, hold up. Don't tell me. Remember the second year who committed suicide? You think they departed killing too? Could be. That means... They departed the cause of all the strange things happening at the school lately. That's really crazy, oh, that's crazy, yo. Oh. That's crazy. You know? Maybe you're the next target. Don't say it like that. Hey, knock it off. You're creeping me out. If anything, it's probably gonna be a fart. What the hell is this kid doing? Because my grades are better than yours. The heck? That's not how it works. Right? After that, the student's conversation returns onto the topic of some popular TV show. Or VTubers. I know this is a, a little bit on the past. They chatting merrily, the unpleasant subject they broached earlier cast aside. For them, a spooky story about someone's death is probably just another form of mindless entertainment. They're just rumors after all. The sound of a bell rings loudly in my ears. Must be coming from the school clock tower. The students are apparently desensitized to it, as hardly any of them reacts to the sound I reacted to it. I kinda jumped. I mean. 
It's almost time for my appointment. He leaves the school, goes to the dentist. Yeah, it, it started a little bit. God dang it. I enter Koehana, Ko, Ko Noehara Academy through the main gate. Ko Noehara. Then head to the appointed building on the outskirts of the school grounds. Once inside, I quickly consult the guide map at the entrance. The faculty room seems to be this way. There are some teachers left in the office. In this old building? Why is it so yellow? I mean, I kind of get why. It's like, color theory. The whole thing about color theory is that yellow is kind of like the color of sickness and danger, depending on the hues. If you go, okay, a small tangent. I learn about color, <laughs> color theory of someone who studied um, the Persona games. Like they said something about Persona 4. Well, the main color of Persona 4 is, is yellow, to the point that the sequel with extra stuff is called Persona 4 Golden. And it has two meanings. The golden color literally means summer, which is happiness, brightness, uh, just overall it's this sense of a... I don't know, the sense of childhood, the sense of like just innocence. Usually, like, bright golden colors means, like, happiness and stuff. While the faded golden colors usually is used for, like, danger signs. Or, like, for the signs of, like... Yeah, just for danger in general. Usually, someone who sees, like, these faded color hues, they have, like, this sense of sickness, of, of, of foreboding, um, like, a disease or a contagion or something. To the point that when the fog comes up in Inaba in Persona 4, it has the faded yellow hues. Yellow hues is not made to make people like afraid. It's made to make it's made to make them uncomfortable. But yeah. Oh, moving on. Ask one of them to call me the headmaster, Konoe. To call the head don't call me the headmaster. Call the headmaster. Konoe. You look familiar. My my, so really came. Welcome to Konoe Hard Academy. I'm Seizo Konoe, headmaster of the school. Mr. Konoe smiles, decked out in a flashy suit designed to call attention to the implied amount of money cost his honor. We spoke on the phone once before I came here, but this is the first time in person interacting. Sorry for calling you here on short notice. Uh, what is the name again? Age has really done a number on my memory. Let me introduce myself again then. My name is... Just the protagonist's name. Uh, I'm gonna keep the original. Yashiki... yeah. Kazuo. Ah, so this is taking... What happened on the first game again? I don't think it matters. Yeah, there's a bit of spoilers from the first game. I'm gonna try not to say too much about it, unless the game makes itself relevant. Yeah, that, that, that's fine, Yoshi. that's fine. Yoshi. I'm a Mario Brothers. I have a Yoshi's. My name is Kazuo Yashiki. Oh yes, that's right. Tell me sorry. I heard about you from one of your teachers, Diamond. Diamond. He mentioned your name when I discussed the departed with him. You are apparently quite versed in matters of the occult. Are you an exorcist, perchance? Not at all. I just happen to stumble into strange happenings a lot more than the average person, that's it. I'm not in compared to a professional. Oh, really? But you've solved supernatural cases before, have you not? 
Well, yes, I have. I just got lucky. I'm telling you, I really don't have any special techniques or anything like that. I don't know what to make of you. The headmaster sportively raises his eyebrow. I don't blame him for telling for feeling doubtful or suspicious. I got tangled up in some bizarre incidents and have found myself in a life or death situation several times. Fortunately, I've managed to survive with some resourcefulness. That's really all there is to it. I'm not some kind of subject. I'm not some kind of subject matter expert like the headmaster wants. But Darmon is a trustworthy man whose opinions I respect. If he vouches for you, then I shall do my best to trust you. Besides, I have no time to find an alternative. Did I? I, I did pause, okay. Especially considering that we found a new notice this afternoon. He pulls out a piece of paper. I take it from him. I put it on my face. I open my eyeballs, one at a time, using my fingers. The paper is closed. I have to release my fingers. <laughs> my eyeballs. This did the party's notice. There are red fingerprints on it. Could it be blood? That is, all like brake fluid. It could be brake fluid. Why is this always blood? That's, those are my dogs. It's gonna say it's brake fluid, isn't it? Or that? I heard that's mold, not a blood stain. I'm not familiar with mold of that hue, however. That's just. That's mold. That is not a natural color for mold. I opened the letter and skimmed through it. Dear pianist, Hanako will kill you. It's always Hanako, the poor girl. I'm watching, hiding in the school. You develop. You 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 developed. Was developed. You developed. Your beloved. The departed. Obtain notice for the pianist. Artist check a notice with Faden. I told you about the first one during your call. It was addressed to. It was addressed to Ribbon, right? I believe so. Something seems to have happened to it. It's somewhere to be found now. The previous headmaster got scolded by the cops because it's gone missing. Just as the notice predicted, the student name means vanish, and it vanished. The name of the guy is Pianist. And you think it was to the party's doing. Now I don't believe in goats and the like. I assume these kids are simply gone missing, but... But quite a lot of people believe it was to the party's doing. It reminded me of the conversation overheard at the front gate. Rumors about the departed seems to be spreading among the students. That's why I called you. Even our most anxious pupils, pupils, pu whatever, should be students should be relieved when they see that we have an expert looking into the situation. Once again, I must remind you that I'm not an expert. Well, play the part then. Investigate the school tonight and inform the students that there is no such thing as the departed. That should be enough to assuage the fears of the superstitious folks. Just brush it under the hug. I shouldn't die, it's fine. Who cares about that? He may claim the departed doesn't exist, but we won't know the truth until the, of the matter until we investigate. I'll go along with him for tonight to see what I can find. The headmaster and I wait until night. You, you just stood there and waited. No, nope, no coffee, no tea, no nothing. Some time has passed since the sunset. The headmaster and I are the only ones left. Understood? He, did he just sat there in the faculty office, like awkwardly, like the teachers just going through the works, and that is just Yashiki sitting on the corner, just staring at everyone, dead eyes. Like, you're a ghost. Are you a ghost? Are you a ghost? Answer me! We waited long enough. Let's look around. Oh, that's... That, oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. School and arts are a rare privilege, huh? Enjoy what you can, Yashiki. 
Why do you sound like cockroaches in my ear? We leave the faculty room and begin searching the special building. We visit the infirmary, library and student council room. But we don't find anything unusual. It's unseasonably cold, no? Arthur is buried upon us. If I'd have known it'd be like this, I would have dressed more warmly. So why is the headmaster patrolling the school at anyway? Could have had one of the younger teachers handle it. Ready now. Think about it. I have cables in my fingers. Oh, that's not that, that that's better. I'm not using the mouse anyway. Do you think I could request that a teacher work overtime to search for ghosts? Nonsense. I would have to pay them. And since I've only recently been installed as headmaster, I can't exactly call anyone into doing the job. I will have to no choice but to push my, push my old bones and see to it myself. You're a fine old man with old bones. You look like the kind of person who will be hunting elephants in Africa. He has a big sigh. I guess being the newcomer to school always has drawbacks, even for headmaster. Anyways, let's go to the new beauty now. Follow me, Yashki. Leaving the special, special building, we walk through the corridor and head to the new building. What's the difference between the special building and the new building? Can I only go um, free roaming modes on the new building? That's... yep. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, we actually get the first floor of the new building. We usually lock the classrooms, but I requested to remain... Okay. Inspect the rooms as you need, so I'll leave the expert to his work. He's really pushing his set this expert thing. Denying it is getting annoying, and seeing that it's not having any effect, I decide to simply ignore it for now. Shall we begin the investigation? Let's start with the first CS classroom. On the third floor, on the first floor. Movement. Use directional sticks or the L stick to move. I can use my controller for some. I wish I could be using my controller. What if I. Nope, okay, screw it. Press what to run? Space? Interacting with doors and objects. When you approach doors, stairs, and the end of the path, arrow symbols will appear. Press the directional buttons in the direction of the arrow to move to a new area. Operation assistance. The event log can also be accessed by pressing M. Use M when you can press X, or press the wrong button. The wrong button? What if I press tilde? That's not it. Okay. Oh, space. It is space. Oh, status. Never mind. Um. Protagonist. Protagonist. A man who came to Konohara Academy after receiving a request to investigate the apartheid is actually Masamune Kujo. Masamune. Head of the famous Kujo family. But now goes by an alias. After a bizarre case a few months ago, he was subdued by a... He was dubbed by a knockout magazine, The Spirit Doctor. No, this entry is incomplete. Uh, I noticed. He asked me to hurry. I'm not gonna hurry, dude. I, I only understand Hayaku. The aged headmaster of Konohara Academy. Soon after his appointment, rumors about the departed ran wild, forcing him to take action. He asked the protagonist to investigate. He's sweetie, well educated, well connected, and quite well off. Shut up. At least I don't have to make a spider out of my hands. I see a girl dressed in a school uniform. What are students still doing here? That's strange. Investigation points. You encounter glimmering spots when moving, these are investigation points. Press enter to inspect. If the investigation points a person in a conversation with stars. What if it isn't a person? Who are you? Hello. Don't worry, I'm not breaking in. Your headmaster's right here behind me. <laughs> ah. Looks like she's less tense now. Guess that managed to reassure her. 
She has a mark on her left cheek. A mysterious mark that looks like a pattern. Is it natural? Can you stop staring at me like that? Uh, sorry about that. Aren't you from the student council? Yes, my name is Himeko Do Dorio. Dorio? Dorio. School grounds are closed. What are you doing here? I only know how to make two voices. My own voice and the old man voice. <laughs> Dorio falls silent after the headmaster confronts her. It seems like she's got a reason, but she's hesitant to talk. Let's see what information I can learn from Himeko Dorio. Chat. Actually, I'm looking for Izumi. I can't find him anywhere. Who's Izumi? Toshiniko Izumi from the student council. Toshiniko Izumi. Toshihiko, not Toshiniko. Acquiring topics. You will discover topics of conversation during the course of an investigation. That way, you will have more things to ask when conversing with people. Oh, it's the same thing. Choosing this option will allow you to ask about the topics you have obtained. Uh, the department? It's going order. Everyone's talking about it. The department's roaming around the school. They're issuing death notice. Or the person named in the notice is killed by Hanako. Do you believe those humors? Yes, because someone was actually killed. Ahem, <laughs> wouldn't mind correcting what you said, or you? No one is dead. They simply run away. Stop doing this. No. No. This is what happens when you want everyone to die. You don't hide it under a pretty carpet. You shove the dust in their face. And when they start sneezing, they will notice, wow, this place is really dusty. Someone, someone should clean it. Like the cops. But a professional. That's the name of the notice, isn't it? The house say Hanako's true identity is Hanako of the toilet. Her name sounds familiar. She's starting to a female spirit. Hanako of the toilet is the spirit of a girl with bobbed hair and a red skirt. She usually appears in school restrooms. Well, she is Hanako of the toilet for a reason. Do you know anything else? She doesn't appear on the sink. I don't know much more than that. I try not to pay too much attention to it since this kind of stuff really freaks me out. My body's shaking. She must be terrified. Can't say that comes as a surprise. That's just, 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 just. Izumi left the student council room and didn't return even after school closed. So the vice president is searching for him now. What's that? We looked around the new building and the special building, but can't find him anywhere. Did you mention this to the teacher? Uh, no, I thought we'd find him quickly. And now that the school's closed, it's been even harder to tell them. Do you have any clues? Like the last thing he said to you? Anything like that? Dorius stills a glance at me, seemingly hesitant to answer the question. Answer the question! He may not believe it. He looked pale before he left. And then he said, the departed is calling me. Come again? I think that's it. Um, <clears throat> Dorio has given up trying to mask her emotions, and she looks straight at us. I don't know who you are, but you better give up. Give up on what? The Departed. If you get curious about the Departed's true identity, you become their target. That's what they say. She seems to adamantly believe that the Departed exists. Now I see why the headmaster was worried about trying to calm the students down. He didn't want more of them ending up like this. You should just go home, Doryu. We'll look for Izumi. 
Understood. I'll get going then. Things are getting more complicated, hmm? Let's search for Ichimi first and save the mother of the departed for later. Which reminds me, you're not familiar with the school yet. Just ask me if you're unsure where to go. Party chat. You can speak with the party members by pressing tab. Ah, eh? It's, it's, it's escape, it is tab, space is inventory, enter is check things, that is fine actually. Talk with the party members of your... Of your Talk with... Sure. May you new clues. The character Himeko Dori. Why does Dori sound like the name of a cookie? Like the kids are in the yard eating like Dorios or something. <laughs> Doritos. Ah. Okay. Character file. I know what a character file is. I checked it before. I, I will check it again later. Start a screen just got the characters. Ask for fun using me first, Yashiki. Though you say he was already looked around the entirety of the new building. She's a stand-up student. She's really good at comedy. I doubt she thought it to search the area where boys would be forbidden to enter. Like the female bathroom? Notices for students are posted in the bulletin boards. Okay. Students, please avoid loitering in the school. At home as soon as classes are over. Is there any... It's an inevitability. It's an in it is it's an inevitable measure, considering all the strange incidents that have occurred. As nerve-wracking as it is, this is a necessary precautionary measure. And sometimes I just read it, uh, like way too much. It is the female restroom a place forbidden for men and boys? Mm, considering Doria's personality, I doubt she'd ever consider looking for a boy in here. She may not have research here, but. Would it not be inappropriate for us to enter this place? The school is empty. How can I not? I'm an educator. You... It's not like I'm not being watched. What do you think I'm gonna do? We need to investigate here as well. Now only find out if you keep it between us. See, we're... Oh, great. All of a sudden, the light goes out. As if somebody's trying to prevent us from entering the place. No way. Is there something lurking here? Oh, goodness. Did you go out again? Headmaster yeah, responds nonchalantly. The electricity has been acting up lately. It's not the first time it has happened. I've tried to get it fixed by yourself. But it's not easy to book, oh, okay. book an appointment and read a repairman these days. Anyway, you need to trouble yourself. That is... Am I gonna get another toilet jump scare? There's nothing mystical about it. We're not being hot. I mean, stop with it. <laughs> There's a little bit of an audio overload. There's too many sound effects. Still though, it's hard to see in the dark. Hold on a sec. Open my bag and take out my flashlight. There we go. Shaman's well prepared, eh? Investigating in the dark is something a spirit hunter like you must be skilled at. Investigating in the dark. Use your trusty flashlight when investigating in the dark. If you discover any investigation points in the area, illuminated by the flashlight, you can inspect it with enter. Can I move? No, the flashlight moves by itself. Okay. Cool. I can finally see a pale reflection of my face in the mirror. Are you tired? You look dead inside. That's how I usually am. Don't worry about it. First person investigation. Press around using directional buttons on the left stick and press enter to inspect investigation points. I can use the mouse, okay. For this, I can use the mouse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The toilet bowl is spotless. No dirt, at all, no dirt at all. So it wasn't used. If you're niche about peering inside the toilet bowls, even though you have to. Uh, they, they make shadows. I actually like this. 
It is a little bit of a not shadow, but whatever. How do I leave? I can use the mouse to move around as well. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The toilet bowl is spotless. Which means it was either just cleans or it was never used. That is the broom closet. Yes. That's not what I meant to do. Toilet cleaning equipment is stored inside here. Mops and brushes are neatly lined up. I better not mess with them. Oh, there's a marker. I thought it was a gremlin or a hob hidden behind the toilet. There's a marker, there's something on the wall. Check the toilet. Check the marker. Red marker is lying on the floor. I will notice the writing on the wall. That is what they used to write it. Can't believe they left the evidence after scribbling on the wall. They're going to damage the school's reputation. Mr. Conway, mind if I keep this marker? You want to keep it? Yeah, it may be related to the investigation. Also, don't fall asleep. It will be funny. This is nothing but a rule of thumb, but... Usually when items are found at a spirit's hideout, they're tied to that spirit. Even a seemingly ordinary marker like this can be a clue. Fine, do what you want. Investigating spirits should is troublesome work, huh? You even have to pick up things like this. Hmm. Upon close inspection, I noticed that there are traces of something scribbled on the wall. I should be able to make out some of it. Disgusting, annoying, just... Oh, it's bullying. While I can't read the name, somebody's obviously being bad mouthed pretty harshly. Just then, the toilet suddenly fell. I got jo toilet jump scares. At least Yashiki did. Say, has the toilet here been acting weird too? No, I've not heard any such reports. They probably just accidentally touched the lever. All the while I was flowing, I heard a voice. The voice of a girl saying, give it back. And it felt like it had energy drained from my body. I don't think he's just imagined that. Did the spirit just contact me? Spirits and damage. Various mishaps my own characters mentally and physically during investigation or battle. Yashki and his party members can take spirit damage during these times. If you run out of spirits, the investigation will come to an end. Or worse, you will die. Keep an eye on how much spirits you have and make sure not to let it reach zero. Okay. I'll keep it in mind. It did go down, didn't it? Hmm. I don't see anything unusual. What's really a spiritual phenomena? Phenomena. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Okay. Don't you think we investigated enough here? I feel really uncomfortable. Let's leave. The school is empty. There is no one to judge. The sound of a piano being played very badly reverberates through the building. I didn't hear anything. Must be imagination. Stop. Where's the music room? Hmm? Um... It's right ahead. He's pretending, isn't he? It's gonna run away as the second I turn my eye. Enter the music room and scan the place. However, no one is here. She, nobody's here. You really are just imagining. Let me place myself on the other side. Hold on.
Okay. We finally reached a logical conclusion. Ha ha! His triumphant voice echoes off the walls of the empty room. Is there really no one here? Better check the place out to be sure. Can I? Mm -hmm. There are portraits of famous magician, magicians on the wall. Some smiling, some frowning. The eyes won't move no matter how long you stare at them. It's not a Scooby Doo movie. Thank God. Yes. There is a black grand piano. Did this thing really make a sound just now? Let's take a closer look. Detailed investigation. Investigating an investigation points may be able to conduct a detailed investigation. Mm -hmm. Doing so will allow you to inspect it more truly and use items. There are times when you can even use special actions. Uh, inspect? A vintage piano fitting for a school with such a long story. History. Its elegant appearance with the muted polish really makes it the centerpiece of this room. The lid is open. I should be able to play the piano then. Uh, lake? I reach my fingers towards the piano keys. The god, dark god. What the hell, man? Don't star me like that, Yashki. I thought my heart was going to stop. My word. Sorry about that. It isn't just the headmaster. I'm feeling ill after playing the piano as well. Suddenly a portrait falls on the other end of the room. It's too much to be a coincidence. Maybe a spiritual phenomena. Phenomena. I should examine further. Yes. The portrait hanging on the wall has fallen. And it was right after I played the piano. Quite unusual timing. If it's not a coincidence, what's going on here? Just a prank, bro. Oh, paper. Yes. There's a poster on the floor. It must have come unglued from a nearby bulletin board. Here is a pick it up. Attention brass band club members. Notice of challenge of leads. Change of leads. This isn't good. If the departed's notice is real, then Izumi may be the target. Slow down, Yashiki. You have some rational to the claim, correct? Rational. What are you basing the assertion upon? Um, I... Izumi is a pianist. It's really in your notice. <laughs> They'll kill the pianist. And Izumi is a pianist. That's just a coincidence. The departed doesn't exist. Izumi, a pianist, has been worried about the departed, and now he's disappeared the same day that the notice arrived. You really think this is our coincidence? Ah. <laughs> Headmaster is abruptly starts coughing. His face is drenched in sweat. He's so pale, it looks like he could collapse and he's having a heart attack. Are you alright? Apart from it. I can barely breathe, and my heart is racing. Forget Brandy, I just want to drink some water and calm down. So, but can you let me rest in the infirmary for a spell? The infirmary is in the special building. Guess I better go there. Would you get a... Would, yeah, I don't need this. Try to read the description of any item that has the word details on it. We leave, the new, oh, we leave the new building and go back to the special building. Once there, we head to the infirmary. Head. There's a skeleton! The infirmary looks the same as one you find in school. It's a great place to get a drink of water and lie down for a break. Let's talk to the headmaster in a bit. I want to record my progress first. Infirmary. Your spirits will automatically recover when you go back to the infirmary. Completing a lot of information by conversing with others, don't forget to save the game using save when you're ready to stop playing. Save the game. 
What? I can only the first save is in 48 minutes. Are you kidding me? This is outrageous. Finally, break time. Self for traveling. Why do you want to ask? Why do you want to ask? Uh, chat. Oh my, I'm absolutely shattered by now. Who would have thought I need to deal with this sort of thing so soon after I was appointed? When did you get here? Just a few days ago. I was supposed to be installed here next year, but it happened early on account of the previous headmaster's collapse. The collapse? I've told you all I know. I want to put an end to this whole other party situation as soon as possible. Many students have reacted to spiritual nonsense, rumors of the supernatural with no basis in reality. You're talking about Doryu? She's one of them. Better than others, though. So maybe skip class because they believe they may be targeted. I want to clear this rubbish from their minds so they can focus on the schoolwork. The other spirits refer to the notice, right? I don't believe such a thing exists in my school. Assuming the rumors are true, Hanako must refer to the tale of Hanako of the Toilet. And if you believe that the notice says, I have a feeling this Hanako is being used by the departers to attack the students. This whole thing is getting beyond absurd. A spirit is making other spirits attack people. We in a fantasy world or something. <laughs> they have no idea. I wonder what Izumi is. Based on Doryu's statements, I doubt he's in a special building or the new building. Is there anywhere else? Let's see. The old building, I suppose. That is... That place is basically abandoned though. Nobody have a reason to sneak in there at night. Is it locked? At night, yes. During the day is open because it's been repurposed as a storeroom. Though if you were my choice to make, I'd rather keep it locked during daytime as well. Given recent events... Whoops. He pauses, looking like he's accidentally let something slip. What happened in the old building? No comment. It doesn't have anything to do with this. Can you please just pay no mind to it? It's a sensitive topic. Uh, this old man's gonna kill everybody. Let's get going. I worry about Izumi. Where should we explore next, Yashiki? You're not going to share the old building, are you? That's exactly what I was gonna say, actually. What else would you suggest? Oh, come on. It's locked. There is no way you should be in there. There's no point in going in there. It's locked as long... It, it's only locked because you believe it's locked. No one said it's locked. You only know if it is locked if you go and check. If it is locked, we go home. Not, but still. I don't intend to snoop, but I need to be sure he's not in there. You're one stubborn fellow. Bye, this amateur shall you to the opinion of the expert. Where do we go from here? The door in front of the music room leads to the corridor. Just go straight from there and you'll reach the old building. Alright. Save the game. I'm still in the opening. By the way, Yashiki. Do you have any weapons? Weapons? If we're dealing with spirits here, must have some kind of attachment or holy water, right? Exorcists do usually carry those sort of things. But not an exorcist. Uh, exorcist. So I don't have exorcist. It's just a weird word. I don't reliable man. Ah, fine, I give her this. Why do you have it? Headmaster pulls out a small knife. Oh, okay. It's an antique silver knife with peonies decorated on the screen. Can it be iron? Like silver works on werewolves and some forms of shapeshifters. Like, if you're gonna fight a spirit, I much rather it, it be either iron or just a bag of salt. Can we go to the kitchen? Looks like a viable antique. But the blade is thin and doesn't seem like it'd be all too useful in a fight. My grandfather founded the school and just now is part of his collection. I heard he's supposed to be a talisman, 
Oh no, oh okay. Maybe it works against spirits. Pretty well prepared for someone who doesn't believe in the supernatural. That's just my personality. I don't believe, but there is no harm in being prepared, just in case. Please take it with you. Treat the weak cat, alright? It's a memento I received from my grandfather. You already said that. I'm not running. <laughs> Come on, old man. Connecting card. Okay. I just want to check this. It's fucked. Okay. Should be the card that, I, that connects the two buildings. The Stop with the slime sounds. What is wrong with you? The surrounding area is shrouded in darkness. I can't see clearly. There are no lights in, e in either this card. It does not the old building due to the electrical issue. I procrastinated on getting fixed because it wasn't causing any harm. But I regret that now. He shrugs. The investigation will rely heavily on your flashlight. Oh, okay. From the corridor, there is a path that leads outside. The back path leads to the sports fields and clock tower, and the front path connects to the courtyards. There's a clock. Oh, yeah, there's a clock tower. Someone is standing at the end of the corridor. Hello. Uh, fuck shit. Man, he's killing me. Standing there is a male student. He holds his head in pain while spitting curses. Are you with me? Huh? He responds and turns to us. Then he nods. Are you alright? Shall we take her to the infirmary? Just leave me alone. Ah! He groans painfully before sinking into silence. Looks like he finds it hard to even speak. But I can't leave him alone. What should I do? Uh, I don't think it makes a difference. What happened? What are you doing in school this time of the night? The student council president, Doryu, is looking for you. She's really worried. Yeah, he's not gonna talk. Apparently, you told Doryu the departed is calling you. Did you just set it apart it? Yeah, I know about that. <laughs> he lets out a disturbing laugh. His squeaky voice not sounding remotely natural. You see, the departed is hiding out in our school to find the one. They disguise themselves as a human, and you can't even tell they're not human. Enough with the jokes. They're nothing but ridiculous rumors. It's true. You know why I think so? Because I know who the departed is. What? What the hell is it? But it's too late now. I messed up. The departed hates me. I keep hearing a voice saying die, die, die in my head. Got a grip is me. I don't have to suffer like this. Shit. What? Izumi is deeply perturbed. Her voice hadn't getting through it to him. Please calm down. We need a cooperation so we can help you. Shut up, shut up, shut the hell up! I got no fucking time left. I don't wanna die. I gotta go to the music room and kill that Hanako bitch myself. So aggressive. Izumi turns and runs back towards the old building. Izumi! By the music room. Does you mean the music room in the old building? Hold on, there's a music room there too. Mm -hmm. It's not used anymore though. I glance down the general area where Izumi was standing and something catches my eye. 
Looks like a knuckle duster. I didn't see this in his hand earlier though. Did he fall out of his pocket? Maybe he brought it for self-defense, since he's frightened by the departed. Why not you keep it, Yashiki? Sure, just in case. Why are we getting weapons? Since we're in this game so focused on getting weapons. Like in the last game, there was one weapon. And it was a horrible idea to use it. <laughs> you had one occasion where, to ha where you need to use it. And it was for a bad any. The door to the old building is unlocked. Why is this door open? Should have been locked in the evening. Who cares about that right now? Let's go inside. Dogs! But the structure is quite similar to the new building. It gives off an... Eh, it was supposed to be raining. What is this rain? The wall is ridden with mold and dust. Cobwebs are strung up here and there. Forgot about cleaning. This place isn't even ventilated. Mm. Have to fix myself all over the place now. Ah, God, this place is so muggy. Let's leave the door open after you, Yashiki. I extend my hand towards the door. Hmm? That's weird. I want it open. It can't be. The door won't budge no matter how many times I try to open it. What in the world is happening? Are we trapped in here? What happened, Yashiki? I'm not sure. But I can just kick the door down if push comes to shove. Finding Izumi is a priority for now. You have a point. The location of the rooms are the same in both new and old buildings. That means the music room is right beside us. Oh, that's... Okay. That looks like a window. Oh, okay. That's not... God dang it. The old business music room is just ahead. I hear a voice coming from inside when I walk through the door. Towards the door. That's pretty much it. I didn't mute. Hey, Yashiki. Let's go. I thought I muted. Uh. Pause. Oh, okay, never mind. It's fine. My bad. What is going on? I'm gonna. Make a shotgun for next stream. My hand! Immediately upon entering the door, we greeted by a grisly sight. Guilty water shooting from rubber hoses as severed he is in his hand. What? How did that happen? The rubber hose is undulating in the air as if gravity holds no power over it. The filthy water issuing forth from the hose, slashing out with menace, like a whip cracking through the air. There is no way a normal host could contain a jet of water strong enough to dismember someone. It just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's precisely what my eyes are telling me is happening. I don't have time to debate the plausibility of this scene, I just gotta accept it. Just accept, accept that this impossible phenomena is the real cause... is real and caused by a haunting. Both the water and the host begin to curl up, growing tall thoughts and tension. Are they reading, ready to hit him again? What are you doing, Izumi? Run! Izumi turns around when I yell at him. The water next strike narrowly misses him. 
A frantic Izumi rushes past me out of the music room. The host disappears into the darkness, as if it is pursuing him. Oh, what the hell was that? I don't know myself. I just saved that for later. Now we have... Why do I hear the sound of dripping water? Why is there water in the music room? You forgot the hoses? Oh, there we go. The hoses are wrapped around the headmaster's neck, as if they're trying to lift him up. This cannot be. Descending from the dark ceiling hoses. So, uh, Descending from the dark ceiling, hoses have snagged the headmaster by his neck. They call like snakes with murderous intent. This keeps up, his life is in jeopardy. I need to get rid of those hoses immediately. Suspensive acts. Why is it upside down? Suspensive acts. A suspensive act will occur when encountering a special situation. By making the appropriate decision, you can drastically alter the outcome of the situation. Think of, of it as a moment of truth. Act 1. There must be a tool I can use inside my bag. We need to do something real quick. But should I do it or... <coughs> Choosing a character. During a suspensive act, you must first choose who is doing to perform the action. Think carefully before making your decision. I don't think he can do a lot. He's in panic. He's um, in a little bit of a pickle. Like there is... Um, yeah. Um, some odd stuff going on. Yashki? Yes. Alright, what do we do next? I can use an item in this situation, like... Uh, we use the knuckle dusters to punch the hoses away. Mm. What do we do with this item, then? I'm gonna to choose some appropriate action in order to have the outcome I want. Choose the most appropriate action from the list of things Yashki comes up with. The character needs to have enough spirit to execute the action. Each action has a different execution rate. This will be explained in detail later. But choose the action I want to do. Why... Why is there a percentage... Of success chance? Alright, here I go. I doubt anyone will be able to keep the cool in this situation. Panicking, feeling pressure, those kind of things can increase the chance of failure. Execution rate and failure. During suspensive acts, not every action is doable. Each action has an execution rate that is based on the, person, on the person performing the action. Execution rate must be high enough for you to successfully perform the action. Let's try execution this action. Use the knife or try to cut the hose lifting the headmaster. I cut the hose hit bit by bit. I think I can do it. The hose gradually rips apart. It finally breaks apart with a loud crack. Hurriedly severs the other hoses. The moment I finish cutting the last hose, my knife snaps. Well. <sighs> Shamha survived. The headmaster has been freed from the hose bi hose's binding. Looks like this is the right choice. Correct and incorrect actions. The action executed just now was correct. During a suspensive act, you need to successfully execute the correct action. In situations where you succeed at performing an action but still fail to get the desired result, you should pick another action. You can also fail when you choose the wrong character. Try to choose the right person at the right action. Why is it upside down? Summary If successfully broken through the tension of the suspensive act In summary, you want to look for two main things when trying to get your desired outcome in the suspensive act First, choose an action with a high execution rate Choose the correct action 
that also times in a suspensive act will be a multi-part event. I can't believe I nearly hanged myself and we're not even in financial trouble. Hey, that would bring bad luck. I'm glad you weren't injured. Ha, ah, my luck has always been good. Let's chase after Izumi now. Jesus. Yashiki. Look at the floor. There's a trail of blood. Give it the amount, there has to be Izumi's blood. The trail leads to the entrance of the old building. But there's a big pot of blood. The door looks like it's been painted red. This blood is smeared all over the handles and windows. Izumi tried to run outside. Except the door was locked. Is it still locked now? Putting some strains to the door, I attempt to push it open. Unlike previous times, the door opens without any resistance at all. There are no traces of blood to be outside. Izumi is still in the building. Like, was he squeezed? Because there is... I'm sorry. This amount of blood just in this part of the corridor is way too much blood for a single person to be just... <sighs> Excuse me. Just be done by a single person. I wouldn't I would understand smears. But not pools. Judging by the amount of blood. Ishmish probably. Uh. One question though, Yashiki. What is she? No idea, but we should find him and follow the trail. I turn my eyes down the corridor. Fresh glistening blood extends deep in the darkness. What would have happened if I chose the wrong answer to save the director? Would it just be like a game over? Let's go to the female bathroom. Okay, what if I enter the male bathroom? Okay, what if I go forward? Okay. Hmm. The word annoying is reading in red on the mirror. What are they referring to? She doesn't look like blood. She doesn't look at all. Handkerchief. And some... Mm -hmm. There's a scribble on the wall. You suck at piano, stop showing off. Don't play this song again. There's a name written on it, but it's so faint it's unreadable. It's obviously slender, just like the stuff we found in the new building. I wonder who they're building. Speaking of piano, use me as a pianist. Does it have anything to do with him? Hmm. I found a pale pink handkerchief on the ground. It's an elegant, expensive looking item. The initials NH are embroidered on the edge. There's some ink on the cloth. A faint, irritating odor is coming from it. It smells like acid detergents. I guess in a storage cleaner. Did they try to erase the writing over here? Maybe. Hmm. What do I leave again? All oh, right. Hmm. This area is used to store tools for cleaning the toilets. Over the cupboard, but it's empty. I haven't found anything I can use as a weapon. I'll be worried about it, about that since my knife broke. Yashki, you broke my grandfather's memento. What the hell is wrong with you, dude? What? What happened? It is to the toilet stall. Are you there, Yuzumi? There's no response. I think he's already dead. It's not locked. Should I? Headmaster doesn't reply. He's there, he nods wildly. A dazed look on his face. Gripping the handle, I slowly push the door open. The blood leads inside the stall. Yet, there is no sign of Izmi. 
How can this be? This is absurd. Headmaster's plaintively, plaintive query goes unanswered. I totally understand this feeling. However, no amount of whining would make the situation make sense. Let's examine this restroom. Excuse me, I find a fresh blood stain. It's probably Izumi since he hasn't attacked by hoses. He was just attacked by hoses. If he's lost a lot of blood, so I doubt he's still alive. Mm -hmm. The toilet bowl is dirty. It's obvious that it has been, hasn't been cleaned in quite a while. That is. I just have to check. Oh god. All of a sudden, a shrill scream pierces the night. Watch that. Get for the hallway. How is that sound? I hear something creaking on the hallway near the classrooms. Ah! What? A female voice. A hollow moan so faint it could disappear at any moment. I better look up. Oh. The moan's coming down now. Okay. Oh! Uh... Nice, fine. It was a go. Himeko Doryu. The sight before me was beyond comprehension. I wonder what we've seen. A go drenched in sewage water, suspended by a bunch of rubber hoses. Filled to water and rubber hoses, just like the assault on Izumi. Countless hoses were in the air. They look like venomous snakes arching their necks in the sickles, intimidating their prey. Pain groans emerge from her lips. Damn, have to hurry and save her. I extend my hand towards the hoses, trying to grab her. And at that moment, the hoses just disappear. She drops down on the floor limply. Oh, okay. I was thinking like, I don't have a knife anymore. But it's not just the holes that have vanished. The yellow water that drenched her body and stained her blouse is completely gone too. No traces remain, as if the entire scene we just witnessed was nothing but an illusion. Here, you're right. <laughs> Dorio doesn't respond. She's fainted. What on world just happened? No time to question anything. Let's get her to the infirmary. I carry Dorio on my back and pick up the blazer from the floor. He hurries to the infirmary. Old building or new building? Probably new building. Yeah. There's a skeleton! Once there, we lay her on the bed. Though she's unconscious, her breathing is steady. She should be fine now. Let's continue the investigation. We haven't found Izumi yet. Mr. Conway? Oh, 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 apologies. My mind is a bit fudged about all those bizarre happenings, one after another. You can't just wait here if it's too much for you. No, I cannot. I must protect the school or else I'm going to bring some shame upon my grandfather. He smiles weakly. It's obvious that he's forcing it. He's propped up his resolve with a sense of responsibility to his grandfather, the founder of the school. Fine. Alright. Let's head to the old building. Doryu is lying down on the bed, still unconscious. I know you're worried about her, but Izumi is our priority now. Let's head back to the old building, Ashki.
Seriashki. Should we check the female restroom again? We pretty much looked through every corner. But we still haven't found Yuzumi. You shot a tail of blood, right? You must be in there. Headmaster yells hysterically. He's really tense and overwhelmed. He's nearly reached his limits, but both mentally and physically. Okay, well, we'll give the restroom another look. It's not like we have any other leads anyway. Search for Izumi. Rumors of the departed, the arrival of Death Note is sent by the mysterious entity. The departed has Konohehara Academy and a commotion. They notice the notes of murder as their targets. Since the mother's name is Hanako, it is the students to believe that the spirit is the urban legends, Hanako of the toilet. After the notices arrived, some students actually went missing, but police could not intervene due to the lack of any obvious crime. However, as the rumors took a toll on the students, it was hired to con I was hired to conduct an investigation. I have to determine if this is the work of spirits so or merely a plank. A, a plank is a plank. A pursuer student, Izumi, who'd gone missing. I saw his name on a poster in the music room. He was badly hurt when we found him in the old building music room, but he went missing again after. He followed a trail of blood. He ended up in a ghost restroom where we found red graffiti in a handkerchief. Someone apparently scared him and he seemed to be running from them. My, go my gut told me he had to do with that what was reading on the notice. What actually happened in the restroom? I might be able to learn what caused Hanako of the toilets to attack Yuzumi. We need to inspect the bloodstained door again. Ah, okay. I'm stuck. God dang it. I'm stuck in a corridor. Yep, okay. I promise I'm trying. Sounds like running water. Where in the world is that coming from? Where do you think, Yashki? The first star, of course. I'm not tired. I'm just... Okay, I... I... I'm not tired. There he is. Whoa, Jesus. Ooh. Wow. Man, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh god. Okay, I'm fine. Inside the stall, male students on the toilet seat. A bundle of things are sprouting from his eyes. Slender rubber hoses. They're spewing filthy water in every direction. I guess that explains the sound of running water. Dear god. Between all the bloods, the falling eyeballs and the hoses, I'd be unable to tell that this poor kid looked like he was when he was alive. Though, the though that is one pretty obvious clue to his identity, his left hand's missing. There must be Toshihiko Yuzumi. Toshihino. Whatever. His wide open mouth gives an idea just how much pain he, he can do it. He probably has his eyes pushed out from inside by the hoses while he was still alive. Looking at the pool of blood surrounding his body, from his severed wrists though. His suffering and terror probably didn't last too long. Can we move away from this image, please? That's about the only bit of luck he had tonight. Dear God, stop showing the image, just... <laughs> What's wrong, Yashki? Why did the words in there? You can't see it? Oh, okay. Headmaster screams and bolts out of the restroom. Guess that's finally had pushed him past his edge of sanity. They're gone. Honestly, can't blame him. I'm too shocked to think straight myself. Better get out of this restroom first, return to the infirmary, and come up with a plan. I walk toward the exit, like trembling. Bounce sweaty. 
Huh? I can't lift my legs. Something is tangled around my ankle. A long, thin, elastic blue something. It's the rubber hose. Whoa. I look into the mirror and see something swaying. What is that? A person? It's a girl in a wet shirt and a red suspended skirt. Her limbs blackened. She looks dead, swaying from side to side. This is... Hanako of the toilet. Roses crawl up my waist, to my chest, all the way around my neck. I can't move my limbs. Even my mouth is bound. I'll be cured straight. Shit. As if I just, just let that happen. My arm is the only thing I can so much move at the moment. Um. The graffiti. So cruel. Kill the one who wrote it. The words spinning out of her mouth are filled with rage. Looks like she thinks I was the one who wrote that on thing on the mirror. The holes are constricting me tighter. If I don't do something, I'll die here. There must be something in my bag that I can use to survive. Clues for the correct action. Clues for the, clues for the correct action and hidden within the stories, item details, spirit pile, and other bits of collected information. Incorrect action choices can also give you some insight and help narrow down your options. Oh, I held the button for too long. Poster in the music room, red marker. What can I do to clear up the misunderstanding? It is the dirty handkerchief. But. Oh, I can't even use it. Read carefully. I pull out the poster and try to read it carefully. I f <laughs> you fail a 5%, you rolled a 1 and a 20. In a, in a d20. But the hose is twisting my neck so tightly, I can't read it out that well. It was like she thinks I was the one who wrote that thing on the mirror. There must be something my. Okay. So, while I still have a spirit energy, I can just keep going. Hand out the marker. Write Sanskrit on self. <laughs> Sanskrit? Inspect the marker. Pull out in front of the hose, wipe off graffiti, inspect the handkerchief. Yes. Takes too long to die. I pull the dirty handkerchief from my bag and extend my hands towards the mirror. I might be able to clear up the misunderstanding by winding off, winding off the writing with a handkerchief. I stretch the handkerchief towards the mirror, then I wipe off the word annoying. The whole spine in my shoulders loosened slightly. Did that clear up the misunderstanding? I might have managed to convince her that I'm not a bad person by erasing those awful words. Looks like this is the right choice. I feel like I can move my arm a bit more now. Nope, not a bully. What did she mean by not bully? Was this girl bullying in the past? Who? I don't know. Who am I? Did she just say who am I? Okay. Ow! The ghost screams out loud. The hose cinch cinches tight around my body. Shit, what do I do now? The 
The girl's in space because she doesn't know who she is. Guys, I need to tell her that next. Uh, would be poster in the music room. Show the poster. For the flower. For the flower. I tried to make a flower using the poster. <laughs> Why is this an option? This game is done. <laughs> this game is so dumb. Hana means flower, so she is Hana of the toilet. She might be pleased by paper flower. My sister often asked me to make the paper dahlias when she were kids. When we were kids. I wonder if I still remember how to do it. Done. Miraculously, I succeeded in making one. For some reason, that doesn't work. Considering she's demanding to know who she is, that was probably a pointless waste of time. <laughs> it was like, this isn't the right choice. A red marker writes Hanako Akai on the mirror. I stretch my hand towards the mirror and try to write Hanako Akai with the red marker. I exert maximum effort and somehow manage to get the marker close to the mirror. I begin writing. Hanako Akai. This is the name of the female pianist written on a poster. Dorio says she is Hanako of the Toilets, though she was probably referring to the classic urban legend of Hanako of the Toilets, but not this school's Hanako. The girl who has bullets might be Hanako Akai. The holes binding me finally loosens. I assume she remembers her name now. The girl then disappears into the darkness. Makes me wonder if Hanako of the Toilet forgives me how- She's not Hanako of the Toilet, it's just- Okay. Forgives me now that she's pulled herself together. Looks like this is the right choice. Well, I'm not dead, though. I guess it is right. If I was dead, I would be dead. What the heck? But the neck? Once Hanako's presence is gone, the restroom changes completely. There is no trace of the horses, not the blood, as if nothing foul ever happened here. Wait, no way. Izumi's corpse is no longer on the stall, so I can't prove anything. No one is inside. Even the horses and the water are gone, the same as happened with Oryu. It's as if everything was only a nightmare. And that means we lost any evidence of this incident. The only thing remaining is the fact that a student named Toshihiko, to, yeah, Toshihiko Izumi has disappeared. The cops are probably just treat him as one of those thousand missing people. Exactly as they did with the student mentioned in the first notice. In this case, cops will be useless. What should I do? I better go back to the infirmary first. The headmaster might have returned there. After talking with him, we can decide what we should do next. Stop showing me that! Dude! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just telling me exactly what just happened. Return into the infirmary. Rescue will quickly return into the infirmary. Know that there will be times in the game where you can't do that. Well, I can either do that, or I can explore a little bit. Headmaster is indeed in the infirmary, he's talking with Doryu. I should tell him what happens, after I save, and then I I'm gonna go pee first.
You're back, Yashki. Hmm. Sorry about earlier. I was so shocked to run away before I knew what was happening. Right. Oh yeah, story is woken up. I told her about you and how you saved her life. Come on, Doryu, take the gentleman. Thank you, Mr. Yashki. Feeling better now? Yeah, more or less. Um, how about Izumi? Oh, well, looks like the headmaster hasn't broken the news to her. He's probably concerned about her mental state. There is something I want to ask her though. We can't hide it forever. Alright. Let me tell you all the things I've gone through tonight. And that's it. It must be hard to swallow, I know. But you're gonna have to believe me. It can be. Izumi's been murdered. Doryu sinks into silence after that. It's incredible that you survived encounters like this against future spirits before, Yashiki. I hope you forgive me, but I found you to be quite dubious before. But I guess I made the right choice when I asked for your help. You saved us. He looks at me, a faint, tired smile setting on his lips. Izumi's been killed. Just as to notice said. Doryu murmurs quietly. If you get too curious about the departed's true identity, you'll be targeted and killed by them. The rumor seems to be true after all. Her voice trembles slightly. Is she shocked by the death of her friend? Or is she scared of the departed? Seeing her tremble, I... Uh... Try to reassure her. There is indeed something in the school. But don't worry, the headmaster and I are both here. I know. Thank you for everything. Excuse me. A young girl enters the room all of a sudden. Her hair is dyed white, which begs the question. Does this school have really lax guidelines on appearance? There you are, Hime. I've been looking for you. Did you find Izumi? What's wrong, Hime? Who are you? Michiho Kinokawa, the student council's vice president, Hime's friend. Or you should go home. It's really late already. We'll do something about Izumi. Understood. Let's go home, Michio. Okay. I guess that's it for tonight. The headmaster and Doryu probably don't want to tell Michio about what happened to Izumi. Let me drive you home. I won't be able to look your parents in the eye if something were to happen to you. There's no need for that. We both live in a dorm. It's only a minute away from here. Oh no, we broke the curfew though. The dorm manager is gonna scold us real bad. I'll let them know then. Be careful on your way home. We'll be going then. Doryo bids us farewell and leaves, me lives with Michiho. You must be tired too, Yashiki. Go home. I'll call you again to later to talk about the case. Mr. Connolly. I want some time alone now. Please, go home. The character Michiho Kinokawa has been added to the character file. Guess I'll head back. My car is parked in the lot near the main gate. The moment I exit the special building, the door locks behind me. I walk towards the shoe lockers, figuring I can leave that way. Oh. Just then, I spot a piece of paper on the floor. 
It wasn't here earlier. A short sentence in red letters is written on it. Dear visitor, I'll be waiting for you in the corridor. Yours truly the departed. This is... My visitor? Do they mean me? Are they... They say they'll be waiting in the connecting corridor. I may be able to get closer to learning to the part destroyed entity if I go. Except that's no different from running into the jaws of death. I can still turn my back to my fears and run away. All I have to do is go outside to the exit by the shoe lockers. So the question is, should I face my fear? Or should I avoid it? In that case... Can I save now? I wanna save now. Um, going to the front gates may be a bad idea. I can go outside. Those who flee from the departed's terror have no rights to pursue this case. Knowing that, do I really need to want to go outside? Go outside. I decided to leave Konoya Hara Academy. The next day, I get a call from the headmaster. I tell him I can. W wait, no, no, no. He, 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 what? Despite his desperate pleas, I ignore him and I hang up the phone. Will he send us home? Oh. I have no idea how the departed case ends. Having turned my back to the incidents, I don't think I have any rights now. <laughs> it's just a game over. Return from the infirmary. When you left the infirmary. God oh, damn it. Okay. Is it sounds? Where is this bell sound coming from? Ah, my head. A strange figure is standing in the darkness. A lanky slender body with an unnaturally big head. No way. That's the departed. Is this the laughter that I hear right now? They've set their sights on me. Are they laughing? I can feel the warmth of my body slowly leaving just from them, from them staring at me. If this keeps up, I'm in serious danger. I gotta escape right here, right now. But I... I can't. I'm petrified. My legs won't even tremble. The departed vanishes suddenly. Did I... make it? Nope. No, they're behind me. On this wonderful day, let us exchange vows with one another. A faint crackling voice echoes in my mind. I swear to always stay by your side, forever and ever. What are you saying? Say... My dear. Can I bite you?
I I thought it said bad ends. I was like, bad ends? Yay! It stutters. I guess I can start chapter two. Two hours and a half. Hmm. Nope, I clicked out of the game. I don't have chat in front of me. Hold on. I just noticed. <laughs> 